Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. We were talking about refilling in the previous video. And of course, when you refill, what are you refilling with? You're refilling with third-party inks most of the time, unless you can find OEM bulk inks, meaning out of same family of printers, but the ones that use larger volume cartridges. Yeah, you could buy those and then extract the ink and use that ink for refilling. And you will have the same quality as OEM, but you will be refilling. And usually if you do your shopping very, very carefully, you will be saving money on top of all of that. Get the top quality plus saving money because you're buying larger volume cartridges and often they're almost about to expire and that's fine. Inks really don't expire as they claim that they do. As long as the cartridge is sealed, you can still use it. Believe me, take, take that to the bank. So. The problem comes when you switch over to a third party source, which will be probably an eighth of the price of the original OEM inks. Okay. What kind of quality do you get? What do you expect to get from those inks? Okay. Think really hard. Let me tell you a little secret. The ink labs that produce these inks do not have access to the proprietary pigments and dyes that the Canon and Epson labs that provide inks only or manufacture ink only for those two brands have access to. Yes, indeed. And even if they could access those ingredients, they are very costly. So they would not be able to produce inks at the price that that's what makes you want to go with third party, right? The lower cost. The inks would be expensive. Okay. So what do you do? Well, you have to sort of accept that the you know you're going to have a much lower level of longevity much much lower okay and again you can circumvent that by the way that you display your finished prints um, color matching it depends on how well matched that ink set is be aware that the handful and i mean maybe not even a handful just a few labs in this country the usa that produce dye inks or pigment based inks for the majority of printers from Epson and Canon and HP and other brands, they create a generic set. And by that, I mean it is a set designed to work on, say, the Pro 10 or the P800 or any other brand and model. But they are just that generic. So that magenta is an existing magenta that they had for, for instance, other Canon pigment type printers. It may not be the same chromatic or the same exact color as this particular magenta. So it's more of a generic set. Yes, it will work on the Pro 1000. Yes, it will work on the Pro 10. Yes, it will work on the Pro 100 and anything else that we have here. But it's not going to be spectrally matched to the individual colors of the original OEM ink set. In order to do that, each lab would have to create a custom mix or blend of inks for a specific printer. That costs too much money and it takes far too long to produce. Now, who does that? Hardly anyone does. So keep in mind that when you buy a set of inks from any third party seller for say the, I don't know, the R2000 from Epson, you're gonna get a generic ink set for that. In other words, you're going to get red, you're going to get yellow, you're going to get orange, and so on. Cyan, magenta, and blacks. So that will not match the original OEM inks absolutely 100%. Okay. It'll be close. You will require custom profiling to get the most out of that ink set. It's never going to match OEM. The only way to match OEM, at least output wise, would be to have it custom blended. And you know who does that, okay? I don't need to mention it. It's called Signature Edition. Those ink sets that have been labeled with that name or description means that you will have basically a seamless transition from OEM to that ink set, whether you switch at once or whether you switch gradually or whether you're using a printer like this that takes forever for a new ink to actually make its effect known, okay? So why would you not want that, right? 
Here's the scenario that would plague and give everybody nightmares. Say you have this and you have running OEM inks and you want to switch over to third party. So you find an ink set on eBay that claims to be a match. You buy it. You, in fact, you get a liter each color and it comes in the mail about a month and a half later from China. You fill up your spare cartridges with that and then you attach a single use chip pop it into the printer and you print and you are giggly happy because the results are beautiful. Yes, they will be outstanding because you're still printing with OEM inks. There's a ton of ink downstream still from those newly installed cartridges. As you continue to print and the ink is used up, then you will begin to see the effects of the new ink and it will creep up on you to the point where all of a sudden you go, Oh my God, what's happening here? This is horrible. Yeah, now the new inks are making their effect known. Worse, if you do one cartridge at a time, then you really have no clue what's going on until all of the ink originally that was there is pushed out, used up, and now you're running on those inferior inks, and now you really are kicking yourself in the new, you know what, because you shouldn't have made that purchase. So you need to buy proven inks, okay? And there are several companies that have the generic ink sets from makers like Image Specialist. Those are proven inks. They will work perfectly on this printer. They will be perfect on the Pro 100, on the P800 as well, and many of the other printers. They're just not going to provide you with that seamless transition, okay? If you want that, then you have to very carefully choose something and you know what that is sorry signature edition that's been my experience and had it not been that experience i would have told you that it wasn't pro 100 i saw no difference between the two and i did a drastic change from original to third party made master prints of each condition put them together you saw that video you've seen me show you that many times already so that is the goal. The goal is always to save money, to have a perfect match to OEM as close as possible. And then you want longevity? Well, then you have to take some extra steps. You have to possibly spray your prints. You have to use some good papers that do not have OBAs. In other words, that all of these RC papers, this, this ProLuster is loaded with OBAs. Don't use that. These prints have been here forever and they're still fine. So conditions are very important as well. If your atmosphere is loaded with ozone, those inks will oxidize, especially dye inks. They will begin to fade in a matter of weeks, okay? If you have a clean environment, only light is going to affect the image. I'm currently running a OEM versus Precision Color Signature Edition on ProLuster paper, the worst paper for this kind of test. They are aimed toward my east window upstairs. It's been there now. It's going to be a year in August. And so far, I don't see a difference in anything on the two prints, OEM versus PC. I still don't see any evidence of fade. So we'll see what happens until next August. I'll just give it that much time, and it'll be a good one-year-long real-world test. And hopefully we will have good results. Now, if you were to just spray your prints or use some good non-OBA fine art type stock, you can probably increase your longevity by many fold. Okay. Simple. Just by a, a choice of paper. That can have a huge difference in your level of longevity. Spray your prints. Put them under glass. And use good papers. Boom. You can have even third-party dye ink prints last for years and years and years. That's a simple fact. It's just that a lot of people don't know that and they don't apply those little tricks to their prints and they end up with prints that are fading in a couple of months. All right. Just be aware that, you know, nothing can compete with OEM. OEM is king in every regard. So if you absolutely can afford it, then please continue to use OEM. 
you will always know what you're going to get out of that printer, out of any printer. All right, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.